Hi, and welcome to the Performance Counters Monitoring for Windows Server's video guide. In this guide, I will walk you through the configuration process of a Windows Performance Monitoring using the Metrics View Windows Service. The service allows us to collect data from Windows Performance Counters, set thresholds for captured data, and set alerts when those thresholds are exceeded. First, let's create a Metrics View device for Windows. Metrics View setup includes three main steps. Setting up a Metrics View collector, which enables the gathering of performance counter data from a target computer. Installing the Metrics View software, aka Metrics View agent. And configuring the monitoring settings. To create a new collector for this task, I will click Install New and specify the collector name. Then I need to install the Metrics View agent to connect it to the collector. The installation process is quite simple. I just need to follow the wizard recommendations. To register the agent on the .com monitor service, I will sign in to my .com monitor account and select the related collector's name. Now this agent will be able to monitor any performance counters available on the local host, as well as any additional performance counters of other machines on this network that the service has access to. To allow interactions with other remote services in the network, you can allow the agent to log in under an account with the corresponding rights. Once the agent is installed and the collector is configured, I can proceed with the monitoring task settings. Before any configurations, I will verify the connection with the Metrics View agent and refresh the collector. Under the counter category, I need to choose the first level grouping criteria. Here we can select such metrics as memory, CPU, and disk utilization captured on the target machine. Let's say I want to monitor processor performance. In the next dropdown, I have a choice from the counters that measure aspects of processor activity. For example, I will select CPU utilization counter. And the last dropdown allows us to select the core to monitor. I'll go with total statistics here. Monitoring this counter value for unusually high rates of CPU usage means we can avoid processor bottleneck. In the error threshold section, I can set up the data aggregation method and specify acceptable thresholds for monitored data. I will set the aggregate method to average. Thus, in the results, I will see an average of all intermediate values. In addition, you can set the maximum and minimum threshold to generate errors in the case of the threshold exceeding. You can change the frequency of monitoring, set up the alerting system for error conditions, and configure scheduled reports to capture trends and metric values. Now I'm going to create the device. The time it takes to collect the first data and send it to .com monitor depends on the frequency you specified. To review the monitoring result, I will pull the online report. In the monitoring log, you can find an aggregated counter value per each time interval. In our case, if you notice a steadily high rate of CPU usage in the monitoring results, you may need to upgrade your CPU by installing a faster processor or adding a new one if you have a multiprocessor system. If you have any questions, please contact your sales representative or our technical support team or check our knowledge base for in-depth information. Thank you for watching.